Individually and collectively, Willow Park volunteers hundreds of hours each year to make Calgary a better city. From a wide variety of volunteer work and business backgrounds, they also come together every year to make the Willow Park Charity Golf Classic a success. In total, they've raised over $7 million through the annual tournament, in addition to the group's many hours of volunteer time and in-kind donations from the course. Willow Park is a group with spirit. Well, Willow Park Charity Golf Tournament provided us with an opportunity to really impact, I believe, vulnerable children, youth, and families here in Calgary by putting together a state-of-the-art mobile dental clinic. So it's a fully equipped mobile bus that can provide dental, complete dental services to people who otherwise may not be able to access dental care. The bus has been running since January and we served over 835 children. We've been seeing kids, again, in a population where they may, may not be getting regular care. We're seeing some kids in grade six who have never seen a dentist. We saw one child in June that had every tooth was decayed, and he was five. And what we're trying to do is decrease the load on the emergency rooms as well, because when somebody can't afford to take their child to the dentist, they're going to the hospital to do this. Well, I think it's a culture of um, individual owners and supporters that really believe in giving back to the Calgary community. And they started it 25 years ago and said, hey, we want to give back. So they put together this tournament that for us, raised over $530,000. Well, this is an amazing thing that they've done to recognize the needs. In a city that most people, when they heard about this initially said, what problems do these kids have in Calgary in terms of dental needs? And in six short months, we were able to show that of those 800 kids, we were able to find that much of a percentage of children that actually required not just one dental visit, most of those kids required three or four appointments thousands of dollars worth of work that when we spoke to their parents they said we have no way of providing this care. On behalf of children and youth and families experiencing issues related to dental care I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I know that you have made a tremendous difference in many children's lives and this bus will continue to have a significant impact on the dental health of children throughout the next decade I believe. Well, on a personal note and on a, a larger scale note, I'd like to thank you all from, from absolutely with everything inside of me. Every day I pinch myself and go, wow, this is real. And for that, we're very grateful. Thank you so much. Our philanthropic group, Willow Park. A great group. Everybody's heard of the Willow Park uh, Golf Classic, of course. And Bob Knight is joining us here now. Thanks so much, Bob, for being here. I want to ask about... I know that in the, in, the, in the golf classic, when you fund something, something interesting, you don't pick sort of standard uh, charities or standard work. You tend to go for high-risk things, something that, that is a bit uh, pilot projects. What is that about? Why do you think that's the case? Well, we don't uh, like to think they're high-risk, to be honest with you. <laughs> we like to think we've done our homework and, and selected right. very carefully. And I think the Alex is a classic example of, of a charity that uh, uh, when they came to us two years ago and said... Uh, talked to us about the bus and, and what, what it would do in the community, we thought, you know, that's real, it's tangible, you can touch it, feel it, and see it, it makes a difference. And, and I got to tell you when, when you, when you drive around town, and I see the bus several times, and you know that 830 some odd kids used it in the first six months. Uh, to me, that explains why we choose small charities. And, you know, at the end of the day, our first charity was Crime Stoppers 25 years ago, and Crime Stoppers, you know, uh, was once a small charity, and now it's not. So small charities get big, and we like to think that we can provide that catalyst. So. Well, it's great that you're the seed, that's, that they're willing to be part of that seed. And I know I've done a lot of work with business people, and you get two or three or four or five in a room, boy, it's hard to get them all going one direction because they're driven people who have 30 directions to go. How does this group manage to stay together and stay focused on doing such good work? <laughs> well, I'd, I'd also like to think we are focused, but you know, uh, <laughs> may not necessarily be true all the time. <laughs> But uh, no, I mean, uh, Dave, in all honesty, we have great sponsors in the, uh, uh, the owners of Willow Park and, uh, and Shane Holmes and Trans Canada. And we have 144 patrons who come to Willow Park and play golf. And we, we put on a, what we think is a, is a pretty darn good event. And they're the greatest bunch of people that we could ever ask for to have attend our event. And a lot of them have been coming for, for 25 years. And we have some of them come for 20 years. And, uh, and God bless them for, for feeling the same way that we do. They like the fact that it's a small charity that they can see and touch and feel. So I think that's 
the secret to our success, actually. Well, and congratulations on your success to the whole group. And let's hear it again for our philanthropic group, Willow Park. Well done, Bob and team.